what's up you guys after show reacts here and today i'm going to be reacting to some more arrow this is season one episode 20 and it's called home invasion um yesterday i went on a bit of a binging session with this show and i realized that i needed to stop so i went to bed without further ado not that any of that mattered to you let's just get to the show uh this is season one, episode 19, Home Invasion. Let's just get into it. We have to end this guy before he makes any more widows of our wives. Just hacked a federal agency. Kind of makes me a cyber terrorist, which is bad because I really don't see myself fitting in well at Guantanamo Bay. Don't worry, Felicity, they don't send blondes there. My diet, actually. I keep your secret. Hey, <laughs> Not a natural blonde, blonde. okay. A potential new client here in Starling City, except the potential contract. I will need cover. If both of us are infiltrating, who will provide that? He will. Me? <laughs> the assault rifle is flushed. It's useless. We have a boat. Arrows. And no one capable of shooting them. No offense, kid. No, I was gonna say the same thing. I think we should be spending our time trying to devise a plan, not lower our already slim chances of survival. He'll have his mark by sundown. If not, we'll do it your way. Confident. That you were using me? Me. To what? Draw him out in the open so you could take him down yourself? I will not let you use my agency to settle your blood feud. Myla, I need to see this guy in a bag. You of all people should get that. Get this. Stay away from Lawton, Johnny, or so help me, I will have you arrested. You doubt me? Never have. Okay. Oh, not at all. Uh, Oliver, this is Eric Moore and his wife, Nancy. I'm prepping them for a deposition for tomorrow. And this must be your bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> this is our son, Taylor. Well, you're in very capable hands. It's nice to meet you. Eric, Nancy, I want to make sure that you guys are up for this. Taylor's college fund. He stole our future, Miss Lance. We want it back. Well, then let's go get it. Why would you invest that much? Like your child's, like, college fund? That's a little much, Hello? right? Hello, Mr. Moore. I have some documents for you from Ms. Lance related to tomorrow's deposition. Oh, he's gonna die. What a nice home you have here. You can really feel the love. Yep, what did I tell you? Sorry about the mess. This works better if it looks like a break-in. <gasps> Don't kill the kid. Is it done? Parents, yes. I'm afraid there's been a variable. The child got away. Got away? Did he see you? No, Mr. Rasmus. What he saw was the face of the man who will reunite him with his parents. What a creep. He can stay with me. As his attorney, I am assigning myself temporary guardianship. You'd still need a judge's order. I'll have it to you in an hour. Well, have it your way. And I was picking up Laura for lunch. Why are you what getting you jealous doing? now? I'll tell you what. Nothing. It's settled. He's really There's annoying no me mistake. now. Well, if you need anything, don't. We're fine. Okay. We should really get going. Tommy, I really liked you. But now you're really annoying me. Set your sight. Hit the tree. 
You can do it, Ollie. You hit a tree. Probably hit a tree. <laughs> Edward Rasmus. The financial advisor Laurel was taken to court may not have pulled the trigger, but he probably called in the head. I want you to get into his corporate accounts, phone records, anything that may link him to the killer, okay? Where are you going? Remember when she was just gonna help find Walter? What, else? what, what happened to that? Room? My daughter secured her place. All right, let me know if there was any movement. Yes, sir. Roger that. I'm heading over there right now. I just want to see him brought to justice like everyone else. Don't worry, kid. We'll get Why him. would you want that? Just keep making sure I don't have a reason to get you. He saved your life. What have you got against him? Killer? Sweetheart? And the next thing I knew, there was a police officer at my door. He said that she was gone and that I would never see her again. But you know what? He was wrong. You saw her? <laughs> Every time I close my eyes, I can see her. Every time I go to bed, I see her in my dreams. Really? Yes. Try it. Close your eyes. I see her. Or scared. Just remember that they will always be there. Aww. Lieutenant Kessel, left CPD. Don't open the door. Your dad asked me to check in. Lieutenant, can you hold your badge up to the door, please? Okay, great. Just one sec. What? His badge number begins with a zero. Lieutenant's badge number begins with a one. Nice. It was the badge that gave me away, right? You know, my father's a cop. Whoa! Me. Jesus! You had one bullet? I was impressed for like a second. I know she's always getting attacked in a house. Coming until he finishes the job, otherwise Rasmus will just hire someone else who will. What about Oliver? Sorry, you got another friend named Oliver? The Queens have more security than the president. They've got cameras everywhere, bodyguards in every wing, and no one goes in or out without being accounted for. We both only want what is best for Laurel, and right now, that is to stay close to Oliver. Trust me. He's biting the bullet. There's something else I need to take care of. It's important. More important than what's going on here? No offense to Oliver, but I think we need Mr. Robbins and his men more than him. <clears throat> You're the reason why we are here. And trust me, that wasn't easy to admit. You'll be fine. I promise. Um, what is that? Awkward. <laughs> and do you have a police radio in your pocket? No, I'm just happy to see you. <laughs> Gotta run. <laughs> hey, I think you got something that belongs to me. You set this up just to get your radio back. Well, I do love that radio. Come on. Drop one, this is Harbinger. Wait for Lawton to enter and make contact, then we take him down. Hey, it's the same hat that uh Sarah. Well 
the not so Sarah Sarah is wearing that hat in the photo. Words. Otto is paying you extra not to stop at the Reds. Looks like he made his choice, Jake. Sorry. Or he did take the bait. We're blown. Take cover. What was that gonna do? You just knocked her unconscious. Like it was it wasn't even behind a barricade or anything. So silly. I'll be pulling these triggers right now. There's nobody paying me. I got space for you right here. Right next to your brother. You do best remember that. So, you only kill people if you've been paid. So someone wanted his brother killed. You didn't show things didn't go well. Hey, you can't be angry at that. Legit, like just an episode ago or something or other, you didn't show up for him. So, you know, whatever. This is about Laurel. Devo, I made a choice. I know. He chose Laurel. Always her. Everybody else be damned. Low blow. You can't get angry at him. You did the same thing to him like an episode ago with the... Vertigo? Nothing you want to hear. Ugh. Show up. I see my target in the distance. I feel the variation in the wind. I hear the bowstrings tighten. And I let go. Give in to your senses. Don't think. You're right, this is definitely not the time or place. No, it's, no, it's just, there's, uh, there's someone, and it's a mild past complicated, but I can't. Does she know how much you love her? What happened? Apparently he confessed to everything. He's gonna go to prison for a long time, won't be able to hurt anyone ever again. Why would he confess? The vigilante was involved. Good for him. He's sleeping. He's been through a lot. Now you all are welcome to stay. We certainly have enough room. It's your call. Thank you, Mrs. Queen. I guess we'll stay then. Good. What about the mercenary? The guy that shot the parents? The here. This guy. Leave the boy alone. I wish I could, but he's seen my face, just like you. If you put pressure in just the right areas above the forearm, like I did to you, an embolism will form in the medial antibrachial vein. When the air pocket reaches your heart in give or take 15 seconds, you'll die. It's relatively painless. Oh. Nothing personal. That's really weird. We're down here. Hey, I'm looking for my boyfriend. He's kind of a regular around here, piercing blue eyes, and may or may not have stolen a police radio. Yeah, that's him. Thank you. 
It's kind of irregular around here. Well, that's a nice look. What were you thinking? Well, if it isn't the Wonder Twins. He's very sorry for stealing the radio, and he won't ever bug you or steal anything from you guys ever again. But war. Maybe this guy deserved it. Maybe he did. But that's not how justice works. You see the vigilante? He doesn't have to answer to anyone but himself. And that's a very dangerous power to get to any one man. He saved my life. Now you know tomorrow he won't just as easily take it. So you don't want to see him... Get out of here. Let's go. ...brought to justice. You want to be a part of his crusade. Maybe be his arsenal. <laughs> I didn't think that you had changed much. But you have, and... It's nice to see. Thanks for the heads up. For Ms. Lance? Seriously, what the security on this show is the worst. Large and I don't particularly care to check every room. Very well. Have it your way. No, Ollie is still out there. They're not going to check the poker for fingerprints? You still love her, don't you? It doesn't matter how I feel. Because of what I do, I could never be with her. So you don't have anything to be afraid of. She is never ever going to know my secret it doesn't matter if she knows i know and i don't know how to be with laurel knowing the entire time that if she ever found out who you really are she would choose you he's just the better man What's that for? It's my stuff. What's really, my stuff? dude? Now? I'm not sure that I'm ready for the kind of commitment that you're looking for. I don't want to hurt you in the long run, so... Wait. We both almost lost our lives. And I'm emotional, too, but you can't be serious. This is me serious, Laura. <sighs> it doesn't make right any now. sense. Right I mean, now? Why? Why now? Why even at all? I thought that I wanted this. You. 
the other night made me realize I don't. You're lying. I am not a liar. If you've changed, and I know that you've changed, then you would... You would never do this. Then I guess I haven't changed as much as we all thought then. making it on my I, I don't like you page list. I always thought you were an idiot. Now I think you're brain dead. Yeah. I thought I was gonna die. But you didn't. Yeah, because of him. You don't owe him anything. You're wrong. I, I owe him everything. I can't go back to the way things were. I can't just go back to being nothing. You're the one that keeps telling me that I can be better than who I am. And this... This is my chance to be. I can't explain it, but it feels like my life is connected to his. Because it is. So let's find him. I can tell this means the world to you. And you mean the world to me. Aww. Help. So let's find him. You and me. Vigilante, here we come. I just did what I thought I had to. Just like I'm doing what I have to. We're done. Don't do this. The only thing you have to stop me from going out that door is an arrow. You're being a bit of a hypocrite right now. Season 1, episode 20, called Home Invasion. Um. Okay. So Diggle is upset with Oliver about him not showing up for um, Deadshot. But, like, two episodes ago, he didn't show up to the aquarium. Like, what the hell are you doing? And he's like super upset about it. And it's like, well, honestly, they saved a kid's life. I think Oliver made the right choice. You can get Floyd another day. Oh. And then there's this whole Tommy being jealous situation. Like, come on, man. I liked you, and now you're on the, like, I don't like you list that Vicky is at the top of. But, you know, that's for another video. Um, however, I guess this leads, like, leaves open the idea that Oliver and Laurel could get back together, which I'm rooting for, personally. I'm really excited about that. Um... Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction, and I will see you in the next one.